welcome back to my channel. So today I have my very first DIY video and I am so excited to share it with you guys. In addition to some fun DIY projects, I also wanted to give you some tips on how you can decorate your makeup room or your bedroom if you don't have a makeup room. These are all things that are really easy and fun to do on your own with just a few supplies that you can pick up at your local craft store. I know that some of these products are really hard to find near you or you have to order them online, which isn't always the funnest, so I wanted to give you an opportunity to win the pictures that I'm going to be showing you in this video. All right, let's get started. All right, first DIY project is homemade makeup brush holders. Now this is so easy to do, but it does take a long time. The supplies you'll need are empty candle jars, newspaper, spray paint, any color that you'd like. Uh, I picked glitter, little tiny filler beads, scissors, glue, and any kind of jewels or stickers that you'd like to use to decorate your jars. I got most of these supplies at my local craft store. The candles, of course, are from Bath & Body Works. Now the first thing is you want to make sure you burn your candle pretty much until it stops burning all on its own. Then you'll want to get all of that residual wax out of the bottom of the jar. So to do this, I like to freeze my candles overnight. Once you put them in the freezer, the wax kind of cracks and uh, hardens and it makes it so much easier to get it out of the jar. So you can see here all the cracks that it made all by itself. This next step is kind of dangerous, so please make sure you're careful. You'll need a butter knife or something kind of sharp for this one. What you'll want to do is stab the cold wax repeatedly so that it cracks up. This is pretty easy and it pretty much just pops right out after you crack it all up. The reason why you want to be careful is cold glass breaks really easily, so if you're not careful and you push too hard, the jar might shatter all over you. After you get your wax out, you're going to want to get those little wicks, the metal wick base, out of the jar. Now sometimes these pop right out and sometimes they're a little bit more difficult. It really just depends on the candle. So to get them out, you can either pop them out with your fingers or use a spoon or knife to kind of pry them out of the bottom. Now you'll want to get all of that residual wax out of your jars. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. The easiest way I have found is to boil some water. Now this is another thing you want to be careful with because hot water is just that, it's hot water. So make sure you're very careful. Once you pour the boiling water into your jars, you're going to want to let it sit for a couple of minutes to just kind of soak up and heat up that wax. After you do that, you can take a spoon or a knife and just kind of swirl it around in the water, scrape off the wax a little bit, and honestly, it pops right off. Next step is to remove the labels from your jar. So the trick for this is glass cleaner or Windex. Surprisingly, that's what I found works the best. So if you just spray that all around, they peel right off. Once you've got your jars nice and clean, you're going to want to dry them off and you're done with this part. Now this next step is kind of optional. It depends on if you want colored jars or not. So you can skip this if you don't have spray paint or don't want to do this, but I'm gonna add some color to my jars. So to do this, you will be using spray paint. So my suggestion is you go outside. Spray paint can smell really strong if you're not careful. Also make sure you protect the area that you're going to be spraying. Lay down some newspaper. So you'll want to turn your candle jars upside down so that the bottom is facing up. Then you're gonna start spraying away with your spray paint. Now spray paint can be kind of tricky. It gets a little goopy and it kind of sprays uneven if you're not careful. So the trick is to stand far away and evenly spray your paint. Now this is glitter spray paint, so it was extra tricky. <laughs> Now you'll want to make sure your paint is completely dry before you move on to the next part. And this is where you really get to let your creativity shine and you can utilize all those fun stickers that you purchased. 
Now self-adhesive stickers are fantastic because they just stick all on their own, but if the stickers you picked up are not self-adhesive, no worries, you'll just need to get some really tacky glue. Here are two different versions of the stickers, one of them on top of the spray paint and the other no spray paint underneath. So you can see they both create really fun designs, it's just up to what you prefer. After you got your stickers all in place and the glue is dry, the next part is super easy. So you'll want to take those filler beads, and the purpose of this is to keep your makeup brushes standing straight up. This is also optional if you have so many brushes that they're going to be smushed in there. You probably don't need the beads, but I like the way they look, and I think it's fun. After that, you put your makeup brushes in, and voila, you're done! to your makeup room is fake flowers or real flowers but here I'm going to show you how to make some really fun fake flowers so for this you're going to need an empty clean vase some fake flowers some ribbon and some scissors now when you go to pick out your flowers crafting stores have rows and aisles and aisles of flowers so make sure you pick some out that will match your vase and your ribbon or just some that you're gonna have fun with so the first thing you want to do is cut down your flowers to, of course, remove them from the bundle that you buy them in, and also to make sure that they're going to fit in your vase. This can be tough. You might need to use wire cutters. I was able to use scissors, thankfully. If you really want your flowers to stay put, you can get a foam base to put inside of the vase. I didn't do that just because I'm probably going to switch this up every season, and I didn't want this to be like a permanent fixture, but you're welcome to do that if you'd like. Once your flowers are arranged to your liking, you're gonna go ahead and tie that ribbon around your vase. This, of course, is totally optional, but I thought it would be really, really pretty. And that is it. That's all you have to do to create such a fun yet unique piece of art, kind of, <laughs> for your makeup room. Now the finishing touch to any room in your house is photographs to hang on the wall. And here I am so excited to show you guys these amazing makeup pictures that I found to hang on the wall of my makeup room. Now you may or may not be surprised at how stinking hard it is to find photographs of makeup. I'll tell you, I searched everywhere, every single store you could possibly think of and I couldn't find them. Luckily, I was able to find two amazing Etsy pages online that had these photographs for purchase. Now these are just prints, so I did have to buy the frames at my local hobby store. And surprise, this is where my giveaway is. So I am giving you the opportunity to win a copy of these photographs that you see here. I know it's difficult to find them and I know that they can be pricey, so I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to win them. If you would be interested in owning a set of these photographs yourself, check out my description box down below and you can figure out how to enter my giveaway. If you don't win the giveaway, please don't be upset. I will also link the direct Etsy sites down below to the two lovely ladies who provided these prints for me. All right guys, well that is the end of this DIY slash makeup room decoration video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you like these kinds of videos so I can film more in the future. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.